Hello, welcome to Maths with J. We want to rationalise the denominator of this fraction, so that means we want an answer that doesn't have an irrational number in the denominator. So here there is a root 3 in 5 minus root 3, so there is an irrational number in the denominator as the fraction is currently written. It's important to remember that you can simplify a fraction by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the same number because all you're doing is multiplying by one. The important thing is to find out what number that is. So let's step back from this example and just remind ourselves of the, uh, the formula for the difference of two squares because that will help us to do this example. So you ought to know that if we multiply a minus b by a plus b then if we multiply that out we get a squared minus b squared. So that's why it's called the difference of two squares because we've got a squared minus b squared. And in this example here remember it's the denominator that we really need to work on we need to somehow remove the, uh, the root 3 so if we think of a as being 5 and b as being root 3, as we've got in the denominator, if we multiply that by 5 plus root 3, then we're going to get 5 squared minus the square root of 3 squared. So 25 minus 3, and that's going to be 22. The important thing here is that the answer doesn't have a root 3 in it. It does not have an irrational part. So we've rationalised that number. So let's put that to one side and then we'll use that in a moment when we come to uh, simplify this fraction. So let's just write down the fraction. So we've got 2 plus root 3 over 5 minus root 3 and we're going to multiply numerator and denominator by the same thing and that thing, looking at what we've just got from before, we're going to be choosing to multiply that by 5 plus root 3, so that's the thing we're multiplying by and we've got to make sure that the numerator is the same there so that by writing 5 plus root 3 over 5 plus root 3 that is just 1, anything divided by itself is 1 so we're multiplying the whole fraction by 1. But the important thing is we're multiplying 5 minus root 3 by 5 plus root 3 in the denominator. And so that, as we've already seen, is going to come out to be a rational number. It's going to be 22, in fact. Right, so let's multiply out the 2 plus root 3 and the 5 plus root 3. So that's 2 fives are 10. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. And we've got 2 root 3 and 5 root 3, so that's the numerator dealt with. We've already actually worked on the, uh, the denominator, but let's just write down 5 squared, so that's 25 minus 3, so that you can see how to show the working for this. And now it's just a matter of tidying this up. 10 plus 3, 13. 2 plus 5 is 7, so we've got 7 root 3 in the numerator and our denominator 25 minus 3 is 22. So we have rationalised the denominator. We now have a denominator that does not contain the square root of 3. So this is a conventional way of writing a fraction which contains irrational numbers. And this can easily be done on the calculator, so let's see how we would do that. So the important thing is that your calculator is set to math mode. So we'll start by selecting a fraction. So we literally key in the fraction exactly as it's given to us. So 2 plus root 3. And that will be over 5 minus root 3. And then equals as before. 